Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Option channel for the UPSC examination. In today's video, friends, we are going to see the symmetry of flowers. Alright, in this symmetry, we are going to see the actinomorphic flower, then zygomorphic flower, and then the asymmetrical flower. As you may have familiar with the syllabus of Botany Optional for the UPSC examination, there is a angiosperm systematics is given. So, before studying this angiosperm systematics, you should have clear all the concept related with the flower of an angiosperm. Because if you want to write the floral formula, nearly all of the floral formula belong to the flower. And that is why you should know every terminology related with the flower. So, this is a very important uh, from the examination point of view. Alright, so let us get started. Now, first of all, actinomorphic flower. Now, in an actinomorphic flower, sepals and petals are of same size. Here in the picture, you can see the petals are of same size, right? Now, the floral parts are so arranged that the flower can be divided into two equal walls. These floral parts are so arranged in the way that it can be cut into two equal parts. That is, if you cut this flower, it can be cut into the two equal parts, right? So, from any angle this flower can be cut into the two equal parts that is the actinomorphic flower if you cut this flower from an any angle this flower will cut into the two equal parts all right now such a flower is also called as the radial flower regular flower or a star shaped flower now example for this is a china rose all right so actinomorphic flower is a flower which has a same size of sepals and petals plus it is the floral parts are arranged in a such a way that it can be cut into the two equal valves and from any given angle the flower can be cut into two equal parts all right and such a flower is also called as the radial flower regular flower or the star shaped flower example for the actinomorphic flower is a china rose all right now, second type of symmetry in a flower is an zygomorphic flower. Now, sepals and petals in an zygomorphic flower is not of a same size and shape. All right, here in the picture you can see the sepals and petals are not of the same size. Then the floral parts are so arranged that the flower can be divided into two equal walls through one plane only. Now, if you cut this flower, there is only one angle through which you can cut this flower into two equal parts. If you try from the any other angle, this flower cannot be cut into the two equal parts. This is the very basic difference between the actinomorphic flower and the zygomorphic flower, that actinomorphic flower can be cut into the two equal walls from the any plane. But on the other hand, the zygomorphic flower into two equal walls from the one plane only. Alright, so you should remember this basic difference between the actinomorphic flower and the zygomorphic flower. From only one angle, this flower can be cut into the two equal parts. Alright, is such a flower are also called as the monosymmetrical flower or bilaterally symmetrical flower. And the example for the zygomorphic flower is the pea. So in the zygomorphic flower, sepals and petals are of not same size and shape. Then floral parts are arranged in such a way that it can be cut into two equal walls from the one plane only. And such a flower is also called as the monosymmetrical flower or bilaterally symmetrical flower. Now the third type of symmetry in flower is a asymmetrical flower. Now in this, sepals and petals are not of the same size and shape. Here in the picture you can see the sepals and petals are of now not same size and shape. Now, floral parts are so arranged that the flower cannot be divided into two equal walls. Now, such floral parts, these floral parts are arranged in a, such a way that these flower cannot be cut into two equal walls. From any angle, this flower cannot be cut into the two equal parts. That is, if you take any angle, you, you cannot cut this flower in the two equal parts. That is, now you should compare all these. That is, the actinomorphic flower can be cut into two equal parts from the any angle, right? But on the other hand, the zygomorphic flower can be cut into two equal parts from the one angle only. 
and then there are the asymmetrical flowers these are flowers cannot be cut into the two equal parts from the any plane all right so you should remember the basic difference between the three all right now such a flower is also called as the irregular flower that is the asymmetrical flower is also called as the irregular flower and the example for this irregular flower or the asymmetrical flower is a canna all right so in the asymmetrical flower sepals and petals are not of same size and shape plus they are arranged in a such a way that they cannot be cut into two equal parts from any angle all right that is that means there is a no possibility of cutting this flower into two equal parts from the any angle now such a type of flower is also called as the irregular flower and canna is the example for the asymmetrical flower we have seen the actinomorphic flower zygomorphic flower and the asymmetrical flower in an actinomorphic flower the flower can be cut into the two equal parts from the any plane right or say from the any angle on the other hand the zygomorphic flower can be cut into two equal parts from one plane only and the asymmetrical flower cannot be cut into two equal parts from the any plane all right so this is the basic difference between the actinomorphic flower zygomorphic flower and the asymmetrical flower then in an actinomorphic flower sepals plus petals are of same size and shape on the other hand the zygomorphic flower do not have same size and shape of petals and so does the asymmetrical flower that is they do not have the same size of sepals and petals the actinomorphic flower is also called as radial or regular flower while zygomorphic flower is also called as the mono symmetrical flower while asymmetrical flower is also called as the irregular flower all right so in a summary we have seen that the actinomorphic flower then zygomorphic flower and then the asymmetrical flower if you are watching this video on your mobile you can take the screenshot of this screen so that you can save this information within your mobile only all right so thank you very much for watching this video please like the video please make comment if you have any doubt about this lecture please share this lecture with your friends who are studying the botany subject and please subscribe to the botany optional channel for the upsc examination again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video